Well, this is how I'm going to start uh, my template off. So I picked up this um, 12 inch by 12 inch piece and this is where the motor mount is going to connect. So I need to cut out this hole and I need to trim this line out and then I'm going to weld uh, four posts on this. I don't know what to call it, but basically I'm fabricating a motor mount here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've got a little bit of a wobble somewhere in here. But that's looking pretty good. Alright, so I'm just cutting off this excess piece. And then I'm going to cut out the uh, hole in the middle and drill some holes. Drilling these uh, pilot holes. Well, that was an experience. And there's my hole and my pilot holes here for um, where the uh, screws go through and into the motor. Uh, so it just took a while, quite a few turns around back and forth till I finally got in there. And uh, now I'm going to take the um, rotary bit and uh, clean it out and grind it down. All right, here's the finished product. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to bring it down to the boat and I'm going to mount the motor. Uh, I couldn't remember if the hole size was three quarters, sorry, um, three eighths or half. But I'm pretty sure the bolt sizes are three eighths. So I'm going to just make sure that these are fitted okay. And if not, I'll widen them up to the half inch size. So I'll have to do that tomorrow on site. Um, and then after I have the motor mounted, I'm going to slide it on with the plate on and then I'm going to uh, measure the angles because they're not going to be straight. Like, um, so yeah, so uh, pretty happy the way it turned out. I uh, just took a little bit of patience there with the grinder, cutting the hole out. I didn't have a hole saw that big. Uh, so that's the way I did it. Well, uh, we're in lockdown mode again. and. Uh, government's done this uh, they've actually um, empowered the police to be able to just pull you over and verify that you're actually doing something essential so uh, that's like a police state and uh, that's against our rights as uh, citizens so I'm wondering how that's going to shape up and how many people are going to get pissed off about that Myself, I'm um, just trying to get the boat done because I think my schedule is still ongoing. I'm just going down to the marina to check it out. And, uh, anyways, because I checked the website, it still says that I'm going. I emailed them and they didn't get back to me. Uh, 
Uh, so I don't know what the status is or the situation, but I figured, well, I'll just drive down there and see if they if they're still open or if there's a sign on there saying get lost. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we'll see what happens. Oh, the card's working. It's a good sign. You know, I haven't been able to do much uh, do-it-yourself projects on the boat this year uh, for a few reasons. My greenhouse uh, roof collapsed, so I had a lot of work to do there, and then I was locked out of the marina. So I wasn't allowed to be in the marina from December to February, so something like that. So it looks like there's a lot of people here uh, not giving up on their boats. My neighbor. Stefan is here, so uh, yeah, it's cool. looks like people are busy working, so I'm going to take that as a sign that uh, we're allowed to keep going. Different size Allen key for it. So when I slide that in, I'm gonna have a little bit of this key inside the other one. So I tried to line them up when I welded these together. I don't know if you can see through there or not, but so uh, this one here is seven eighths, and then this is one inch. So that's why I made this coupler here. Basically, I welded all the way around, and um, I have to put these two keystones or the um, Allen keys on top of the keystone, otherwise they won't hold. So that's how it's supposed to function. And this is supposed to squish down on those keys and lock them in. Alright, the other one I'm not going to worry about too much here in terms of the key just yet. I'm just going to put the motor on and then I'm going to put some blocks underneath it to support the weight because it's pretty heavy. My bolts are they're all not quite centered, so I did my best making a paper template, but the the bolts were off a little bit. But when you uh, so I made the holes a little bit larger than the bolt, but when I put the um, the washers on and lock washers and everything, it's not going to move. And then I've got top inside on the wires because I want the wires dead center on the top. And then I've also got my liquid cooling in here now. So now that I've got the um, motor mounted this way and accessible, I'm going to try to get the liquid cooling done this year. Last year I ran with the uh, liquid cooling off and it, then it just never overheated. But, uh, I, you know, for going on a longer journey, you're going to want to have a little bit of liquid cooling in there. So I'm going to put a, uh, like a fan on a small little heater core radiator and then uh, pump some glycol or something like that around there. So. Anyways, I'm uh, just going to tie this up and then uh, slip it in. It's got a little bit of support on it. I just kind of a, took a, a reading. That's the angle. That is supposed to be parallel at the bottom. So the bottom one is going to go straight and be parallel. So I'm just going to want to transpose that to that corner and then put my uh, my connection or a line in and then I, I'm going to shift it up the distance of that to here for the cut so uh, when I cut this back this wood will then push a little bit closer to the um, the back plate I don't know what to call them but the uh, not the motor mount but the the in or the I don't know what to call it this piece right here I don't know if you can see it, the big huge steel piece, that's the base mount, we'll call it the base mount. Well, I couldn't find my hand saw, so I used the short, or the uh, solar power in the batteries here to make this work. 
That's all right, right there. So I'm going to put the top one over to the side. So basically, when I when I weld my piece, I'm going to put it on the side, and uh, my bolt will still need to be up. Based on the top, and the bottom one, I'm going to bring up this way, this way, and that's just a straight parallel fix down at the bottom. So I'll have one on that side, one on that side, and then this one will go like that. Um, all right, so I uh, got her done. It's fitted. I got it uh, put in place, so I kind of know what I'm doing here at the moment. I think a little bit. Um, so I, uh, I've got my template. I'm going to bring her back to the shop and uh, get her cut up. So I'm just going to tack this corner in. And then uh, uh, once I get it uh, tacked in, I'm just going to complete the, the weld around, around the edge. And uh, do the same on this side. Top inside, yeah. And then the other two, I'm going to weld them in like this here. And then uh, I'm going to cut up a little plate. So I'll probably cut this with a grinder and uh, cut it in half. And then make myself a little footing uh, for each one here that I can drill a hole through to bolt it to the big, big uh, base base mount. So this is the motor mount, and the inside one is the base mount. So we'll call it. Well, it's looking pretty good. So now what I need is I just need some pieces welded on here. So I need to make a square that will fit this. And uh, give me about a 2 inch so I can drill a hole through. And then I'm just basically going to weld that on the bottom of each uh, foot. And then I'll have a, a, a straight piece to be able to weld into the, um, or into bolt into the, base motor. I didn't get my gasket built, but I'm going to use that other, my old mount, and I'm going to just cut it out to fit this. Look at that. Man, that's almost like I planned it to work. <laughs> get myself a little bit of support in here. As soon as I get my spacer, this will be pulled back just a, a hair, but it's basically the shaft is all the way in, so it's not going to make any difference. Wow, that's just awesome. So I'm going to just mark and drill out those holes there to mount that piece on. That is awesome. So I'm going to uh, just give that thing another few more coats of paint tonight and uh, build my gasket for the motor and uh, tomorrow we're going to install it and I should be able to give it a test and see if this how it uh, see how it how it functions. I'm just 
just lubing up the cutlass joint. So I ended up going with a flex coupler here. Uh, so I believe this one's called a jar coupler. So there's two halves. This half is bolted on the 7 8 shaft and then this coupler half is bolted to the 1 inch shaft on the motor. And then this here is a spider rubber uh, mount and then there's a bit of a gap in there. I could probably could bring that a little bit closer but basically they, uh, this rubber or neoprene insert, the spider in between allows to, there to be a little bit of like out of alignment rotation. So this worked a lot better than the, the um, two couplers I welded together because I have just an ever so slightly out of alignment uh, here between the motor and the shaft even though I welded that coupler together on the shaft but it's just the way that it worked out. I have an internal coupler here for the throttle so that's my outside one that's over on the helm station. So this one here I've got to figure out how to make work. But basically when I bring this up so I've got a little bit of a wobble somewhere in here but that's looking pretty good uh, all right so I just wanted to report back that uh, I'm pretty happy with that drive alignment test it's going to be good enough to move me in and out of the Bay, but it, basically if there's a bit of out of alignment because I've got that middle support bearing what ends up happening if it's pulling up a little bit then it puts pressure and it actually flexes my shaft I think and the shaft wobbles so by getting it straight I don't have any wobble in the shaft so a couple things I'm going to just play around with a little bit is the um, the foot mounts on the uh, motor mount itself play around with a little bit is just the foot mount so I might want to just put a washer on the bottom of that one just to bring it up ever so slightly and then in this uh, jar coupling I might want to put um, bring it a little closer so I've got a little bit of adjusting to uh, to work with here and then different from last year is I put a couple of uh, what do they call it shaft couplers locking couplers right here uh, and on each side and that's basically to act as a thrust um, control for uh, the water coming across. So I'm going to put, I still have a couple, a little bit more, a few things to do. I want to put an L brace against the back of this motor to stop any vibrations and I want to put one right at the bottom. I'm going to try to fit a small little angle iron in there. Um, but again, that's something I'm going to work on um, when the boat's in the water. So for now, I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I think I'm going to be okay to launch.